Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. Guys, today I'm going to cover one very important news that Java 11 is paid or not. What is the real truth behind that? And some people, they are calling it a Java trap also. So a lot of people are confused that is it really true that, uh, that Java 11 is going to be a paid version? We have to pay for it because so far from last 20, 15, 20 years, uh, after 1995, Java is totally freely available in the market. And when Sun Microsystem released Java, they promised that, okay, Java will be free of cost. But now Oracle is making some new changes. They are playing really, really uh, hard uh, to make Java popular and more and more popular. And then that's why they have reduced the release cycle of Java from one year to six months. Now you will get every six months, the new updates are available for Java. So Oracle is like drastically uh, making some changes in Java and a lot of new features are coming in Java 11. But today I'm not going to cover what are the different new things are in Java 11, but we will talk about for licensing point of view and uh, how much we have to like, what exactly we have to pay and uh, what exactly it is going to impact your work, right? So let's start this thing guys. So. So there are two versions of Oracle guys. So one sad news, it is really a sad news. Yes, it is a sad news that Java will be okay, a paid version okay, after JDK 11. So there are two types of version guys, but it's really a sad news. It's that really sad or it's somewhere uh, you can compromise in terms of uh, you know your versioning updates and all. So we will talk about it. So there are two versions of our, uh, you, know, uh, you know, JDK provided by Oracle, that is Oracle's JDK, you can use this version in development and testing for free of cost. But if you use in production, you have to pay for it. So that is already there in the market that if you really want to use Oracle's commercial JDK in production, you have to pay for it. There is another open JDK, guys. So that's a good news that you can still use this free version for any environment like, okay, like any other open source library. You can use it in your development environment, test environment, or in production environment. So there are two types of JDK available. Oracle's JDK and OpenJDK. Next thing is I'm going to tell you that uh, difference between OpenJDK and Oracle's JDK. So what is the difference? If you are using Oracle's JDK, you will get updates and support. So you need to pay for it. So there is, okay, this is not free. This is commercial version of Oracle. Okay, what exactly they are saying, if they really want to use any updates, if you really want to get updates, okay, and you want to take any technical support from us, you need to pay for it. So obviously you have to pay for it. But if you're using OpenJDK, Oracle won't be proving, okay, providing any updates to the past version. That's a limitation in OpenJDK. Still, you can use it free of cost, but Oracle will not provide any, any updates on the past versions. It means now Java 11 is already available in September 2018, they released. Oracle will not longer, will no longer be updating their OpenJDK build for nine and 10. So if you're using JDK 9, open JDK 9 or 10, there are no updates are coming in future. You can still use them, but there are no updates. If you really want to get the updates, maybe you have to pay for it. But for Java 11 onwards, you have to, for any commercial purpose, you have to pay for it. One important thing, if so, if you're using Oracle's open JDK, you should be prepared to update to each new version of Java. So let's say today you are using JDK 9 or 10. If new versions of Java is available, you have to upgrade to Java 11. Let's see. Uh, Java 11 is using, we are using currently as it comes out or run an older version that won't get any updates. Okay. So the older version that the truth is we will, we will not get any updates. So if you're using JDK eight, nine or 10, you will not get any updates for the older versions. If you really want to get the new version for JDK eight, let's see, you have to pay for it. Second thing is you can still download the commercial Oracle JDK for free of use. So the good news is that, especially for automation engineers and the testers, that if you really want to use uh, the commercial version, that commercial Oracle JDK version, so it will be free of cost. Uh, you can use it only and only in your development and test environments you can use. But if you really want to use that thing in your production environment, you need to pay for it. Okay, guys. So Oracle JDK will not no longer receive any public updates after January 2019. So till January 2019, you will get updates on the previous versions. So if you want to receive updates, let's see for Java JDK 8, you may need to pay to Oracle or to find another JDK built for that. Otherwise, you won't get any updates. Otherwise, you have to pay for it. Okay, guys. 
Last thing I will tell you that as of Java 11, OpenJDK has feature parity. It means, let's see for Java 11, we have feature parity. We have the same Java 11 in OpenJDK as well as in Oracle's JDK. So if you want to use a free JDK, use OpenJDK. It's freely available. You can use it, okay? Uh, free of course. So don't worry about that. Java is, uh, is still free. You don't need to pay for it, especially for automation engineers, especially for all the Selenium engineers. You don't need to pay for it for your education point of view or for your any internal practice point of view, you can use OpenJDK. If you want full support or updates for the version of Java that you are running in production, if you are running in production, then guys, there are market vendors for uh, Java. Uh, you have to check their support prices and the models. Like Azol is there, IBM is there, Oracle is there, Red Hat is there. You have to compare the prices, right? So for bigger application, obviously it won't impact hardly. It's like, I think $1,000 per year you have to pay and $22 for every PC you have to pay for it actually. And uh, on production. So let's see if in your company, if you have uh, 10 machines and 1000 multiplied by 10 is equal to $10,000, you have to pay for it. So for bigger companies, for good companies, or maybe some revenue generating company, it's, it's not a big deal. They can pay for it. But the problem with the small startups are there or maybe some a company, very small company or some very small venture is there. They recently started and totally on Java. And in that case, uh, guys, you have to pay for it. Okay. For any uh, updates available in the future for JDK provided by Oracle. So that's the thing, guys. That's very important. You have to check for it. Now I'll show you one thing that uh, if you see their JDK 11 Oracle, still I can download it, no doubt, and try it and uh, I downloaded JDK 11, everything is working fine. But what exactly they have seen, you can see that, okay, one yellow mark <coughs> notice is there that JDK 11 Oracle has updated the license terms on which we offer the Oracle JDK. And they have given this link, the new Oracle technology network license agreement for Oracle Java SE. Okay, they have given the, the new policy over here. You can download the respective thing over here, that's fine. But if you see their new policy, so, let me click on it, this new policy, and then you will get to know that, okay, this is a complete license agreement they have created. Further, if you need to know what exactly they have made some changes, yes, they are saying you can read this very simple language they have written in their uh, agreement, license agreement. So you can just go through it. I'm not going to for the entire complete agreement over there, but a couple of points I would like to highlight over here that uh, use the programs for any data processing or any commercial use in production or in production or internal business purpose other than developing, testing, prototyping, if you're giving any sample demo or creating a prototype model or something like this, or if you're giving any demonstrating of your application, then you can use that. For developing, testing, prototyping and demonstration point of view, you can use okay JDK. But if you're using any data processing or any commercial use or in production, or for any internal business, you cannot use JDK 11. You have to pay for it. So free version, you cannot use it. Okay, so there are some certain uh, conditions they have uh, created over here. And uh, they have created for one more information, very important that all the technical support, they have given the complete uh, agreement termination, audit termination, relationship between the parties also, what are the different government laws and agreement policies they have written over here. One more policy they have written, guys, for Oracle employees. Under no circumstances are Oracle employees authorized to download software for purpose of distributing it to customers. In fact, Oracle employees also not allowed. Oracle products are available to internal employees for internal use or demonstration purpose only. They have strictly written over here in their policy. It's only and only for internal use and demonstration purpose. In keeping with Oracle's trade compliance obligation under US and applicable multilateral law. Okay, failure to comply with this policy could result in disciplinary action up to and including termination of the licenses. So guys, that's the important thing that you have to read this particular license agreement. Another page I would like to show you from Oracle side that uh, what is a roadmap they have given. So roadmap for six, if you see, this is a release date in December 2006, it came and, and they premiered support available till December 2015 and extended, you can extend it to December 2018. So after December 2018, guys, they are going to stop uh, JDK 6 support also. For JDK 7, released in July 2011, 
premier support until july 2019 the premier obviously some companies they have paid for it and you can extend it to july 2022 for jdk 8 what exactly they have done released in march 2014 premier support is available until march 2022 and march 2025 you can extend after march 2025 okay you cannot use jdk you can use jdk 8 but there are no uh you know updates are available after that you okay same thing for um nine they haven't decided any uh, roadmap for not available not available but for 11 you can see it's recently released in september 2018 premier support until 2023 and extended support until 2026 maybe they will extend it later in march 2019 if you see in every six months that uh, in march to September then again March 2019 every six months now JDK 11 will be there and uh, premier support until September 2019 and then extended support they will decide it later if you see other support for de uh, de deployment technology you can use that uh, deployment technology that uh, I'll show you one thing over here that yeah Java SE public update that's very important section guys they have given for JDK 7 they released in July 2011 end of public updates notification already in march 2014 and uh, commercial user end of public updates in uh, april 2015 is already gone important thing is for jdk 8 jdk 8 <coughs> updates i'm talking about so march 2014 they released uh, end of public updates notification uh, um, before september 2017 it's already gone and after january 2019 okay the commercial use end of public update so there will not be any updates after january 2019 okay and personal use of public updates maximum december 2020 you can use of that right so but after january 2019 commercial use end of public update they are going to stop it for jdk 9 <coughs> september 2017 they released september 2017 end of public updates notification and March 2018 is already gone. So that's the end of update also for JDK 9 and for 10, it's September 2018 guys. So this is like very important things. So, but for us, nothing to worry. If you really want to use uh, uh, Java, you don't need to pay for it. You can use uh, Open JDK. That is the freely available in the market. And uh, till Java 11 recently they released that's available inside in, uh, in the form of beta version still testing is going on but uh, oracle jdk is the paid one if you really want to use on uh, production environment you have to pay for it but oracle jdk that is a commercial version you can use for your practice point of view for your automation testing or development point of view or demonstration point of view still you can use you don't need to pay for it you can use in your testing environment or lower environment or dev environment but you cannot use them into production environment. If you really want to use for your application on production environment, you have to pay for it. Second thing is, still you can use Oracle uh, Open JDK. You can use that is freely available. It's non-commercial. You can use and uh, uh, without any problem, without any uh, paying any single uh, bucks for that. So, right. So this is about uh, guys uh, important uh, thing. A lot of people are getting confused that okay, Java jdk is paid or not so important thing you just need to know that if you're using open jdk oracle won't be providing any updates to faster versions if you're using let's see jdk 8 oracle version open jdk version you can still use it but the problem is there won't be any updates in the future right and java 11 is already out so oracle will not will no longer be updating their open jdk build for 9 and 10 also so same thing for jdk 8 like that and uh, yeah so guys that's all from my side so don't worry and don't be disappointed although it's a sad news for all the companies where for all the startups and for small companies you have to pay for it from your pocket but for people like you and me who are developers or automation engineers or uh, test architects or automation QA engineers especially for selenium guys don't need to worry about it still you can use open jdk I don't think so it will impact any selenium versions or any like because there are so many things are there like testng is there and cucumber is there everything is based J unit is there everything is based on java so selenium is also based on java internal architecture so don't worry about that it will be completely free of course will be available they can still use open jdk for that 
and we are not bothered about that okay because we never execute our automation on uh, on any live application servers i mean on uh, there is no oracle uh, selenium server we are running so for our testing point of view you, you don't need to worry about it but yes for uh, uh, production if you really want to use you have to pay for it for jdk 11 onwards if you still use want to use the previous version but you won't get any updates for that right so that's all for today guys uh, i hope you really like this video i like this information so lot to come lot to know if you really subscribe my, okay if you really subscribe to this uh, channel my channel name is naveen automation labs and please subscribe to the channel put your comments over there if you really like this video please share this video to to your friends and colleagues so that they will get to know about what are different new things are coming about jdk and oracle thank you so much guys thanks for watching this video